The similarities of these two neighboring countries cannot be exaggerated, their geographical proximity plays major role on their geopolitical issues. Being developing economy countries, landlocked, and having their economies depending mainly on one product, copper for Zambia, and diamonds for Botswana, are mutual challenges that these countries have to endure. Despite these two countries' seemingly insignificant difference, in today's video we are going to dive deep into these countries' latest economic indicators, to determine which country will stand out, exploring their unique features, as well as showcasing amazing progression of these countries in the year 2021. Hello and welcome, if you are thinking of visiting one of these countries, you might have hard time choosing between the two, but your choice will mainly depend on what you consider a perfect tourism experience. These countries are both welcoming and generally safe for travelers, tourism is an important sector to both of them, and fauna are incredibly protected and have outstanding wildlife and national parks. Zambia will definitely astonish you with its untampered, amazing beauty of mother nature, unique landscapes that will leave a traveler with unforgettable tourist experience. Botswana is possibly the best self-drive safari, for its decent connecting roads, plentiful wildlife, plenty of campsites, and an effective bureaucracy that makes camp and national park bookings pretty simple. The recent construction of Kazum Hula Bridge brought these countries even closer, as well as improving the relationship between the two. Kazum Hula Bridge was finished and commissioned few months ago, to replace the then ferry and border facilities system. The project comprises the construction of a road and rail toll bridge, with a span of 923 meters across Zambezi River, which run between these two countries. This project was constructed by both governments of these countries, not only to improve the friendship between this sister's countries, but also to easy trade in African countries, by allowing free flow of goods from Cape to Cairo, through these lovely countries. Economically, Zambia has GDP of $23.31 billion, relatively higher than $18.34 billion of Botswana. However, population make a big difference, giving Botswana upper hand when it comes to GDP per capita. In 2019, Zambia was having a GDP per capita of $1,305, while Botswana had a handsome GDP per capita of $7,961. GDP per capita has a lot of say on the quality of life of the country, because it narrates the monetary value of total product and services, produced within that country, that can be available for each person in that particular country. Within five decades, Botswana has transformed itself from one of the poorest countries in the world, into a today upper middle income country. Botswana also ranks as one of the least corrupt, and best places to do business in sub-Saharan Africa. Diamond mining fueled much of Botswana's past economic expansion and currently accounts for one quarter of GDP, approximately 85% of export earnings, and about one third of the government's revenues. On the other hand, Zambia had one of the world's fastest growing economies for the 10 years up to 2014, with real GDP growth averaging roughly 6.7% per annum. However, the growth slowed down during the period 2015 to 2017, due to falling copper prices, reduced power generation, and depreciation of the Zambian Kwacha currency. Zambia's lack of economic diversification, and extreme dependency on copper, makes it vulnerable to fluctuations in the world commodities market. Governmental Expenditure in 2019, Zambia had a national debt of 22.02 billion US dollars, which translate to 94.5% of the country GDP. Spending 1.23 billion on education, 446.9 million dollars on health, while 282.3 million goes to defense. In the other hand, Botswana had a national debt of 3.3 billion dollars, which makes up 19.98% of Botswana gross domestic product. In 2020, Botswana spent $989.5 million on education, $806.8 million on health, and $508 million on national defense budget. Sociodemography Both of these countries enjoyed lengthily and uninterrupted peace since their independence. The peace status in these countries was supported by Global Peace Index Ranking 2020, with Botswana being its second peaceful country in Africa, and Zambia took the fourth position. In terms of corruption, the 2019 Transparency International Corruption Perceptions Index gave Botswana a Corruption Perceptions Index of 61, where 100 is the most clean country, and 0 is the most corrupt. 
Botswana was the 34th lowest out of 180 countries, giving Botswana again second position out of 54 African countries, immediately after Seychelles. Meanwhile, Zambia was given a considerable spot of 15th least corrupt, corrupt countries in Africa. Upcoming and ongoing projects. Zambia, Kalulushi Smart City. Kalulushi Smart City project was conceived in 2019, and it is set to cost approximately 550 million US dollars. The project consists of construction of a shopping mall, hospital, hotel, office block, golf course, filling station, and about 200 residential houses among others. Zambia, Simon Wanza and Kenneth Kounder International Airports. The country has recently commissioned two state-of-the-art international airports. The Simon Wanza International Airport in Dola City is said to be built at a tune of $400 million, has a capacity of 1 million passengers per year, and has a 50-room luxury hotel. At Kenneth Kounder International Airport, in the capital Lusaka, new modern terminal was built at a cost of $360 million. This project is expected to increase the number of passengers from the current 2 million to 4 million per year. The project also involves a hotel, cargo terminal, air traffic control building, fire station, as well as a shopping mall. This facility will boost tourism of the country as well as other commercial complex. Zambia, Kafu Gorge Hydropower Station The construction of Kafu Gorge Lower Hydropower Station is in progress in the southern district, in Chikankata. Once completed, the project will add 750 megawatts of electricity to the country's power grid, hence reducing frequent power shortages, and make the country an exporter of electricity in the region. Botswana, Botswana Innovation Hub, Science and Technology Park The Botswana Innovation Hub, Science and Technology Park, is a home of innovation. This 57-hectare, state-of-the-art facility is the first technology park in the country. It will work to create an environment that supports startups and existing local companies, and attract international companies and institutions, as well as to develop and grow competitive technology-driven and knowledge-based businesses. The construction started in August 2014, and it will include offices, industrial units and hotels, expected to be finished sometimes this year, 2021. Botswana, 5,000 kW photovoltaic power station. Botswana and Namibia are set to commence an ambitious plan to build the biggest solar power plant in the world. This 5 gigawatts photovoltaic power station, it is planned to be built between these countries, to take advantage of their mostly hot and sunny flat landscapes. The proceed of this power station will go a long way in curbing electricity problems in these countries. Namibia currently imports over 60% of its electricity to meet the shortfall in domestic generation. While Botswana's electricity sector is dependent on large-scale thermal coal power plants, utilizing domestic coal from reserves estimated at 200 billion tons. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching please comment and like this video. Do not forget to subscribe and ring notification bell so that you get notified when we upload video like this in the future.